Hi, my name is Crystal Conde, and today I'm gonna be going over my skills video for colostomy care. I'm gonna start first by coming into my patient's room, closing the door behind me to provide patient privacy. I would perform hand hygiene. I would introduce myself to the patient. I would verify my patient. I would also explain the procedure to my patient as well. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Crystal. Can I see your wristband, please? And can you please give me your full name, last name, and your date of birth? Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Conde. Mr. Conde, like I said, my name is Crystal, and I'm here today because I'm going to provide some colostomy care. I'm going to remove your old uh, colostomy bag uh, along with your plate. I would clean your area. I would make sure that I'm assessing your area as well. I would uh, put in a new plate, and I put in a new uh, colostomy bag for you. Is that okay? Do you have any questions for me before we start? No? Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by putting on clean gloves. Okay, now that my gloves are in place, I'm gonna first start by removing my Mr. Conde's colostomy bag, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hear that snap. Perfect. Okay, so the colostomy bag, we would empty out the contents if there were to be any. The contents would go in the toilet. If there's an order for strict intake and output, we would uh, measure the contents in either a cylinder or a hat in the toilet. And the way we would open this is by removing these little snaps from the bottom. Let this thing go and then we would empty out in the toilet or the cylinder or hat if needed. This would not go in the trash. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the, um, the base plate of the colostomy bag. We wanna make sure that we do it gently to not um, irritate around the stoma more than what it's already, or if you wanna prevent it, okay? This will now also go in the trash. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and clean the area with a washcloth with warm water. Using the washcloth with warm water, we wanna use a different corner every time we clean the area. We wanna do the motion of going inner to outer. And every time we do the motion, we're gonna use a different corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and start using this corner. We're gonna go inner to outer one more time different corner inner to outer and then we can do one more time inner to outer okay now we're gonna go ahead and pat dry with a dry washcloth same thing, we're gonna use different corner. We're gonna go from inner to outer, but this time we're gonna pat the area dry. So from inner to outer. Okay, let's use a different corner. Inner to outer. Inner to outer, okay? The area is patted dry. We're gonna go ahead and discard of those washcloths. Now that it's patted dry, this is the time to assess the area. We wanna make sure that there's no irritation, there's no redness, there is no discoloration around the stoma itself. The stoma itself needs to be within colors of like beefy reddish. Um, if there's any abnormality or any type of discoloration other from being beefy red, we need to make sure that um, we let the provider know that there's something going on within the stoma itself. But as of now, Mr. Conde has really good skin, no irritation, no redness, and his stoma is beefy red how we would like it to be. We're gonna keep going. Now we're going to measure the stoma. Before we started the video, we I went ahead and printed out my stoma guide. Um, I did some circles to make sure what I think it's like the appropriate size for Mr. Conde's stoma. 
in my personal opinion i think the that the one inch and three quarters is the right fit for mr conde it gives it a little bit of space but not too much of a space to provide or make irritation um but it's also not too snug to uh, make it uncomfortable um, around the stoma so now that i know that my size in my opinion is the one inch and three fourths i went ahead and also cut my base plate to the appropriate area from here uh, we would uh, put this base plate but before we put the base plate we would apply some stoma paste we would apply the stoma paste around the stoma Putting on the stoma paste helps it um, make a better seal and it also prevents from leaking once we apply the, the base plate. Now that the, uh, the paste is it's in the skin, we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, the seals. So we would remove, I would remove both seals, but in case of remediation, I'm gonna just do one to make sure that I can still um, remove it and I would also remove the the center circle to create a better seal Okay, like I said, in case of remediation, I don't want to remove the whole seal. In the case that I have to redo this again, I'm just going to remove one side. And I would uh, put this uh, facing down. Okay. Once, uh, <laughs> once the base plate is in the bottom, we want to make sure that we uh, bring it down to make sure that all of our corners are um, sealed down. And the stoma piece itself is going to uh, create a better uh, seal as well. Okay. My corners look like they're in place. I want to go ahead and now apply my new uh, colostomy bag. The same, the colostomy, the colostomy bag is going to make that snapping sound. So we want to make sure that we hear the snapping sound when we apply the bag to the plate. Perfect, so now I wanna physically see that it's in place. Perfect. And from here, we wanna make sure that we close the back from the bottom so uh, we don't want that, we don't. We wanna make sure that Mr. Connie does not have an accident um, if we were to leave the bag open. So now it's close, it's officially close. Okay. And I am all done. Mr. Conde, I am all done here. Do you uh, have any questions for me? Um, no, are you comfortable? Can I get you anything at the moment? No, perfect, okay. So Mr. Conde is comfortable. He doesn't need anything from me. He doesn't have any questions at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out. I would close the door behind me to provide patient privacy. I will now remove my gloves. I would perform hand hygiene. All of my supplies would go would be discarded in the trash as we no longer need the supplies. And I would also chart the procedure in the patient's chart. I would also um, let the provider know if there's any concerns or abnormalities within the stoma or skin breakdown. Um, in this situation, um, it was it was perfect. There was no no irritation, no discoloration or any of that sort. So we're we are good on this side. But if there were, we would let the provider know. I am all done. Thank you very much.